and stabs the man's young, the home of the Brockton Boxers. Tonight, the Brockton Boxers will be facing the Sabres Bulldogs. I'm Luke Ratto, joined with Jeremy Matos. Jeremy, this game right here, the Brockton Boxers coming here at 9-1, Sabres 9-2, Ollie and Frazier matchup right here, Yankees and Red Sox, Bulldogs versus Boxers. I'm fired up. Me too, me too, brother. Both teams right here, you know, it's funny, last year, Sabres came in here with a game-winning shot. The Brockton Boxers needed to win a game. Nice, easy layup. No, can't get it in. La last year, they brought the Boxers, had a chance to win a game, and then they lost at the buzzer to the team. So they obviously want revenge. Yeah, they should. They should. They should. Nadia with the three. Oh, it doesn't go. It doesn't go. It's going to be a jump ball, looks like. Possession arrows towards the Bulldogs. So, I mean, it was a heartbreaking loss. So you, you got to think, I mean, if you'd have brought the Boxers, you want revenge right here. Yep, I feel that because their energy is fueled today. It's fueled today. Big ball court out towards the elbow. Looks inside. Nice tough defense right there. Back outside. To the basket. Nope, doesn't go. It'll go out of bounds. And Brockton will have the ball. You know, I've noticed, uh, Jeremy, is that Brockton's a relatively small team, so they probably depend more on their speed. Yeah, I can say the same thing too as I saw the other team come in. I see as if they are bigger physically, but let's see if we can, you know, try to even things up with our speed because we have a great point person, I believe it is, Tatiana Diaz. I've heard stories about her, bro. She's on, when, when she's on her A game, um, she's very hard to stop. I've heard, I've heard. That, that's the rumor around town. <laughs> it is. Big number 52, out to the corner. Dribbles the ball. All tied at zero. Pump fake to the three point line. Sends it back out to his baseline. Back out oh. to the three point line. Almost stolen out of bounds. Last touch on the boxes. So the Bulldogs will retain possession. Seconds. Ten. Ten seconds on the shot clock. To the oh. basket. Odd foul right there. Odd foul, foul, yep. will try to put the first point on the board in this game. Let's reset the game. And it's 0 for 1. Oh, offensive board. And if he gets fouled again, again. he'll be making a, a trip right to the free throw line. So it looks like both teams early on, the first minute, um, struggling offensively. Yep, good, good. So Jeremy seems to be a rock star around Brockton High School. You just had a huge interview with uh, the mayor, and I saw you on the front page yesterday, man. So I'm feeling, you know, you know, like you're big time right now. I'm feeling very small next year. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. Kind of boosted up my confidence. Newspaper, front page, all on the videos, all on the records. Yeah, it actually gets me noticed. I don't even know. People I don't even know are saying yeah, I don't know. Man, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah. Life of a superstar, man. Hopefully it stands. All tied at zero. Both teams can't convert. Launches a three. Oh, no good. Ball. Offensive board. Yes. The first two points of the game. Tati with the drive. Oh. Still. Here they go. The open layup. Puts it in for two. Boxers down early on. Here's Diaz. Loses oh, the ball another again. Another turnover. Here we go. A three on one. Nice pass. Puts it in for two. Six to nothing. What was that? Like a matter of one second, I believe? Six points in just under 30 seconds. Open three. No good. Big number 52 gets the board. And right now, the boxers need to slow things down right now. Yeah, they should. They should. Be inside, passes back out, launches a three, bullseye. In. Nine to nothing. There we go, that's what you need to do. You need to slow down the plays. Could have been a backcourt violation. Almost, almost. If you didn't touch it. And a timeout by the boxers. 
Now, what do you, what do you think Coach April Diglo is saying in for this timeout right now? Clock is down nine to nothing. I believe he's saying slow it down and be a little more aware on Cosmo's part. Which, as you see, and she just gave away two turnovers in like a matter of 20 seconds. Yeah, it's tough. I, th I think the Bronx and Boston right now, you know, uh, they're down nine to nothing. It's tough, but we're still early on in, in the ball game. As long as they run their offense, and I think they um, save this game too many second chance opportunities. And the fact of the matter is, the Bronx and Boston are still a lot of turnovers. And I don't think they're getting back enough on defense. Yeah, me too, me too. I think the transitions are a little slow and a little less aware, I guess, if that's the right term. <laughs> so, 520 in the first quarter. Boxes down 9 to nothing. The Boxes got to stop the bleeding right now. Let's see what they can do. Forward inbound the ball for the Bronx and Boston. That's Silver Moore, the junior. The ice pass is out to Silver Moore. In trouble. Looks like they're playing on a zone defense. So Moore with the mid range. Not good, not good. Offensive board. With the floater, no. Offensive board, yes. I'm not sure if that was a pass or a shot. I think it was a shot. To her, she'll say it's a pass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nonetheless, two points, which, which, which what matters at the end of the day. Yep. Let's see what Tony can do. She's a sophomore. Puts it in. Continues a three-point play. So Boxers finally get on the board. They're down nine to three. Defense by Tony. Excellent defense by her. In the inside, controlling the paint. Oh, another turnover. Here they go to the basket. No oh. good. Another miss. I don't know what, I'm not sure what happened there. At the end of the day, Sabres puts them to 11 to 3. In the inside. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure either. That could have been called. That could have been a travel. Nonetheless, she gets fouled. She'll get the line for two. Yep. Got it from the referee just now. So number 34, Rio Brito. They go to the line. 35, excuse me. Oh. Ball carries two for three. That's free throw. Shooters touch bounce. Got a lot of celebrities in the house. See Chantel Jordan is in the house, former Boston boxer. Arthur Diaz in the house. Yeah, she's a great supporter. She's, I see her a lot in a lot of games in the past. A lot of rock stars here. We have uh, Lynn Tartaglia in the house. A lot of superstars in the house today. Jump ball. Possession now is towards the boxes. So 5-11, to 11, boxes down by 11. Four minutes left in the first quarter. Hey, Andrew hey, Abtoe hey, going with hey, Jeremy Matos. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Rejected. Gets rejected. Boxes will get the ball back. Touch on the boxes. That's gonna be an interesting matchup hey, right there. Number 52 on. and number 11. Yeah, I see it too. Tony, number 11 for the Bronx and boxes. Number 52. She's in the paint. Nice defense yeah, again played by Tony. Jackson. Open three. Swish. Nothing but net. So the Brockton Box is going on a run of their own. They go on an 8-2 run, and they're down by three. 
and a turnover. Here's Diaz. She has numbers to the basket. No good. Offensive board puts it up. No good. Another offensive board. Yes. yes. Two by the sophomore, Tony. I got to tell you what, the sophomore, uh, Tony, number 11, is playing one heck of a ball game so far. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's been in the varsity team for the volleyball team and now for the basketball team. Yeah, pretty impressive. She's definitely a um, multi sport athlete. And, uh, throughout the boxes, this is great composure right here because they're down nine to nothing. And, you know, they, they could easily got them, you know, got down, but, you know, to now with this 10 to 2 run, the Bronx is right in this ball game. Yes, we are. So, 3.05 left in the first quarter. Brought the Bronx looking good offensively. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. goes right out of bounds, so the boxers have a chance to take the lead for their first time. Quincy running point. Oh. Bad play, bad play. Oh. Nadia falls down. Great pass right there, three on one. Stop for the jumper, no good. Offensive board, no good. Helter Skelter. Good hustle, good hustle. Jump ball. And I don't know how that's not a foul. Yeah, me neither. I think they were all over her. A lot of times, you know, doing jump ball situations, you can pretty much tackle someone. As long as you hold the ball, they'll call a jump ball. Yeah. <laughs> I got punched in the face. Jump ball. <laughs> jump ball. <laughs> jump ball. <laughs> what? I got shot. Jump ball. <laughs> jump ball. <laughs> get injured and they still call it jump ball. Jump ball. <laughs> jump ball. <laughs> oh, rejection Ooh. by Tony. Wow, well, shot. That was. It was Silver Moore. Nice pass to the inside. Nadia. And the foul. Was that a foul? No, they're going to call that a travel. Wipe off Correct. the points. Took an extra step. Oh, yeah. Number three, uh, Jolina Sanchez. Running point a lot, I see. Sanchez launches. No Ooh. good. No. Big number 52, Casey Thurber, puts it in. For the first point over Tony. Diaz gets a screen. Up to the point guard. Diaz, 12 on the shot clock. <laughs> Takes a spill. And over. Is that Tony with the two? 12 to 13, oh, Bronx is down. And a turnover. There's more. And a foul. Right to the basket. Gets fouled. So 
if anyone's confused look at the schedule this is actually a makeup game from january 3rd yeah i was a little confused too when i was looking at the schedule yeah, i believe it was a snowstorm at that day yeah the snow is kind of postponing everything snowstorms early on two pretty big ones this year for the past I'd say month yeah a lot of my rehearsals have been canceled and all that you know, it's funny I was listening I was, I was on Facebook and someone said you know they, they cancel school too early they, they, they take away from the nervousness of waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning and watching the news and seeing if your school is out Oh yeah, I used to do that I'm back in the day too. Those are glory. I, I remember I was watching news and I, I really couldn't stand the town of Brookline. Because if I saw Brookline, that means Brothing got skipped. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, we got school. <laughs> it's so upset. Yeah, then you had to wait for the, like another I'm like, 10. Brookline, really? You couldn't say Brockton. I couldn't stand Brookline for years. I still can't stand Brookline because of that. <laughs> Seems like you have a lot of anger saved up in you, brother. <laughs> Six oh, seconds nice left. Turnover. Box is up by one. Oh, another steal. Another Three seconds to the basket. Counted. And good. And the foul. With one second left in the first quarter. To this day, I would never move to Brookline. I refuse to talk to anyone from Brookline. Anyway. <laughs> Just because of that reason. And the free throw was good. Completes the three-point play, 16-14, one second left. Launches a Hail Mary, oh. just off the mark. So your score after the first quarter, Box was down by two, but they were down by nine, making a valiant comeback, and they're right back in the game. So what do you think your thoughts so far in the first quarter? Mm, I, I see a lot of, a lot of, it's gonna be a little tough, but if they play the way they're doing, Ever since that timeout, I believe they, they can they can actually come home with the win. I mean, leave home with the win. <laughs> Nonetheless, they get a W. Home or away, whatever. And that would be a great taste of revenge. Definitely. I mean, that, that was a heartbreaking game. I mean, to see the, everyone's faces, I mean, tears last year. I mean, the, the Boston Box, at, at, at that point, needed that game. To get, they eventually they did make the playoffs, but at that moment, uh, it was, it was looking very similar that they were going to make the playoffs. So um, you know, th that could have potentially been one of those games that eliminated the Boston Boxers from playoff contention. So it was a tough game. It was a tough game that, that um, you know, a lot of seniors remember because that was senior night. So uh, it, it would be good to see the Boston Boxers could come away here with the win. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And it will be a little bit, you know, it will make them a little happy, especially since I have to deal with some of them in class tomorrow. I mean, mon Monday, yeah. So Diaz will inbound the ball. Jackson running the guard. She was not ready for that pass. Taking a picture of my phone to put on Instagram. Life won't oh. And a jump, jump ball. ball. Good sportsmanship right there by Diaz picking up uh, number two for the Sabres Washington. And another turnover. Number four throws it into Jackson. So 7:30. Left take by Tony doesn't make good use of it. There's more to the basket. Stops, pops, no good. Sabers out to number 20. Boxers looks like they're playing man-to-man -man defense. 50 on the shot clock. 
Basket loses the ball. The car reaching for on the Bronson boxes. Substitution 24 comes in for number two. Indiana. 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 Coach calls the play Indiana for some type of set play, I'm assuming. I thought that was the name of the play. And a three. No good. You know, when, when, I, when I think of name calling now, I think of the Patriots and Peyton Manning calling Omaha. <laughs> I have to hear that word one more time. What a snap. You watched the game the other, the other week? Nah, but I heard the result, and it wasn't good. Every three seconds, Peyton Manning's yelling, Omaha, 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 Omaha. Like, what's up with this Omaha? Well, I don't know, but it was working that night. Yeah, apparently. Hence him losing the game, hence me being upset and bitter about it. <laughs> Coffee hits one free throw. She could tie up the game right here with this free throw. And she ties it. Nice pass. A stone by the boxes. There's Silver Moore on the run. Looking to push the basketball right down Main Street. And count it. And the foul. Walters take the lead for the first time. Great aggressive play right there. No one was stopping the ball. Nope. No one was stopping the ball. Great play by Moore going right to the basket. She saw the empty spot and she had to take it. Or the weak link. 636 left in the first half. Boxes up. And 52 comes in for Kelsey. Number 20. Boxes take their first lead of the game. Joint collaboration between the TV club and BCA. About to call the all-star game, if you will. <laughs> in TV terms. Run yeah, something it, like run that. It, run it, run it, run it. Speaking of the all-star game, the all-star game for the NBA was actually announced this week. Yeah, I heard that Kobe was nominated for a starting position. Yeah, unbelievable. And he hasn't played, I think I think he's played three games. Yeah, I don't even know how that happened. You know I, think I, mean? somebody, I think that he's just occupying the space. It's a popularity contest, ultimately. I, I think, so, you know, they got to have the players vote for the All-Star game to really get the... Uh, yeah, it brings me back to when Magic Johnson wasn't allowed in the NBA, but everybody wanted him in there. Yeah. It's kind of about the same thing. I mean, but then again, I mean, you could say, you know what, it's an exhibition game. These are the players want to see. But ultimately, I don't think Kobe's going to play in the All-Star game. Yeah, I think he's just going to – he might just start. But after, like, a good couple – a minute or so, I think he's going to be right out. But um, makes him a second for you. All-Star weekend is really one of my favorite weekends. It's like my Christmas <laughs> um, for, uh, for all sports. We'll talk more about that after this play, why I like the All-Star game so much. The All-Star game – it's like, what, what I know, when I watch the All-Star game, everything, all the TV coverage, suddenly everything's funny. The slam dunk competition, the three-point cut, suddenly everything everyone says is funny. Yeah, I see. I Every, see everything's, in, everything's in a good mood. Everyone laughs about jokes that are really not that funny typically. But during the All-Star game, they're really funny. It's like Super Bowl week. Yeah. It's <laughs> like the week before Super Bowl week. You got all the media coming together. They all make these corny jokes. But Super Bowl week, everyone's in good mood. Everyone just starts laughing. It's just <laughs> like... Everyone's in a good mood. Yeah, like, I see that too. You could just tell a pointless story. So I was walking the other day, and you know, I was wearing a black tie. Oh, black tie! Oh my God! Ah! But it's Super Bowl week. It's All Star weekend. Everyone's in a good mood. So everything's funny. Especially when the rookies play. Oh God, they they burn them. Oh man, <laughs> it really is one of my favorite weekends. Everyone's in a good mood. You know, all everything's forgiven. Everyone's great. And then you know, Monday hits. And yeah, and then it's all, all back, back to normal. Back to reality. <laughs> But I'm, I'm telling you, watch Super Bowl week next week and watch the RSI game. Everything is suddenly funny. Everyone is suddenly in a good mood. I'm going to do, I'm gonna do a research hey, paper. Buddy. I think I'm going to do a research paper on this. Yeah, you should. Do a documentary on it or something. Yeah, actually, Miss T can help you with that if you want. Put it on the channel 98. I should do that. You know, I am going to do that, actually. So 18 to 17 boxes up by one. I think that was uh, Carrie they're calling. Yeah, I, I believe Davis. so too. Six 
second of five minutes left in the first half. Bounces off one of the Bulldogs' knee. So, Fox will get the ball back. Driving the dish. Brockton Bucks, a completely different team from what we see in the first few minutes. Tenacious defense. Oh, good defense by Tony once again. Yeah, she deflected that shot. Fantastic job. An offensive board and puts it in for two. Like you said, Tony, she's been all over the place, just altering shots. Wide open, open three. three. It's in. Booyah, boom shakalaka. C to three, B to three is one with the three. And it brings us up by four. 23 to 19, Bulldogs versus the Brockton Boxers. And the Brockton Boxers right now up by four with 4.03 left in the first half. You know, excellent crowd here today. We have a pretty good crowd for Yeah, I was noticing that too. freezing, freezing two degree day. I'm telling you this right now, man. It, it it's so cold. It you ever been so cold? It's just like you know what? Really? You just thinking ahead? Really? Like seriously? Right now? That's what I was thinking. When I was going to work. I'm like seriously? Like is this necessary to be this cold? Like really? Yeah, yeah. That's how cold <laughs> it is for me. Yesterday at church, it was the same thing. <laughs> I actually had to praise the Lord this time because it kind of generated a little bit of heat. It got me a little warmer, but it was so cold. I mean, I'm walking to work. I'm crying, tears coming down my eyes. I think I'm just so emotional getting to work. No, I'm just freezing. Yeah, I can't even feel my air sometimes. It's just like unbelievable. And then I'm in my car. I'm cold. I'm, I'm freezing in my car. I'm like, it is so cold outside. In my car, I'm freezing. Yeah, then you try to turn it on the heater you and the cold the air heat. comes out. It takes a <laughs> half an hour for your car to warm up. By the time your car warms up, you got to get out and, and go somewhere else. But sometimes by the time the car warms up, you're already here. <laughs> Travel on oh, number four by the Bulldogs. So 352 left in the first half. Boxers now finding their groove up by four points. You know, it would be nice if they could push it right now to about six seven going to halftime. Yeah, I believe so too. Boxers right now really gotta you know turn on the uh, turn on the NOS right now. Silver Moore to Diaz, directing traffic. Diaz thought about the three. Oh, wide open uh, three. Boom down. <laughs> Reaching foul Moore, she can't believe it. Yeah, I can't believe it neither. I just I saw her hands up. <laughs> it was a reach and foul though. Reminds you of Kendrick Perkins. Kendrick Perkins for the Celtics never had a foul in his life. <laughs> there, was, there was one play where Kendrick Perkins, Doc Rivers told Kendrick Perkins to foul someone. He fouled him intentions. <laughs> so you fouled the person, they called the foul, his face was like, what? <laughs> really? I'm like, dude, it was an intentional foul. <laughs> hey, I guess he can't break character. Another rejection by Tony. Open three. Good. I'll tell you what, she's all over the place. She is. I, th I think she's making a great impact on the defense right now. Huge impact on the defense. That's a jump ball. Possession now is towards the boxers. on the three. Nice hustle oh, right there. Oh, good yes. hustle, yes. Newbie points right there, newbie credit. Oh, God, oh, God. 
Missing with the floater board. In. Boxers right now up by nine, their biggest lead of the game. Oh, I think that's payback. They smell blood right now. Just over two minutes left in the first half. Boxers up by nine. Nice pass oh. to the inside. And she misses the open. Oh, Tony with the board. Ooh. Oh, what a move. And what a shot. Oh. Two you know, more. Yes. You know what? I'm giving I'm giving more five newbie credit points for the hustle. The the knowledge of just hitting it off one play, go out of bounds, the tenacity, cool, calm, controlled, calculated confidence. I agree, I agree. Oh, left stick. She's in trouble. She needs help. Whoa, hey, whoa what happened there? There we go. There we go. There we go. Easy does it. Easy does it. Still called jump ball. Again, she got punched, rocked, knocked out, and it's still a jump ball. Yeah. Thirty to nineteen, boxes up by eleven. One forty left in the first half. Ooh, what a crossover! Oh, Ooh, boy! Left Tatiana Diaz in quicksand right there. I'm not sure if she even knew where she was going at that point. To the basket oh, and foul. Gets the contact and almost completed the three-point play. So physical game in the paint. For a little person, especially, yeah. Not phased whatsoever by the contact. Put you at the line. Oh. Jackson with the rebound. And foul. Bouncing the Bulldogs, I believe. So Box is up by 11 points right now. If you can push it to 15, really put some pressure on them in the second half. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Push it to like 15. That's where my mindset's at. Let's see if they can accomplish that. No good. I gotta tell you what. Out of bounds in the box. I gotta tell you something, Jeremy. This team hustles. Yeah, it does. It does. This team goes to work. I'm talking about nine to five, no breaks, no lunch breaks, no nothing. Oh. Hello. <laughs> and she, and she put her hand up like, what did I do? What there did goes I do? Who? That's Kendrick Perkins right there. That's what our Perkins. What did I do? I didn't do anything. I was trying to push it to the ground. I didn't try to do anything. I'm so innocent. I only tackled her. I'm I was only playing football with her. I'm so innocent. What could I have done wrong? I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I'm a saint. I'm an angel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> it wasn't me.
let the cherry strike. Ooh, turnover. Ooh, yes, it is. Newbie credit. Newbie oh. credit right there. How many points should I give her for that? Uh, I believe a good five until he called that out five. of bounds on him. Oh, five for, for the effort. I'm not, I'm, 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 just for the effort. It doesn't matter that last touch. Just for the effort. <laughs> oh, open three. Two free throws. Oh. Offensive board of oh. the one-on-one -on -one situation. It's going to be a jump ball. Again. Possession now is towards Boston boxes, so they may have the last shot going into the uh, going into the locker room. Yeah, what they should do now is try to slow down the time and try to get that last shot. Oh, and it's good. Is that 15 point margin I was telling you about? 36 to 21. The Broughton boxes, um, they started from the bottom, now they're here. <laughs> I mean, literally, I mean, you're down nine to nothing, but they're now up by 15. Literally started from the bottom, now they're here. Um, get your thoughts on the first half. I, I think they hustled. I believe they hustled. Uh, they earned they earned this. <laughs> so that's your score right there. Boxes up by 15. We'll see you in the second half. So... What do you like about your mentor? She's my superhero. And what exactly is her superpower? She has like all the time in the world for me. How much exactly is all the time in the world? Uh, like two hours a week. I want to live in your world because that's amazing. What about you? My mentor is so rich. I mean like, he took me to the Celtics game. Um, um, he took me to the Science Museum. And uh, he took me to the KISS concert. Weren't all those tickets donated by the generous partners from the program? Yeah. So what you're telling me exactly is you don't have to be a superhero or have all the time in the world or be super rich to be a mentor? That's literally amazing. It's not complicated. Becoming a mentor allows you to support the youth through the good times and the bad. But not every kid has that one-on-one -on -one mentor they are looking for. Other youth have a caring teacher who looks out for them in the classroom and even after the bell rings. Some youths have coaches that devote their time on and off the field. Becoming a mentor gives a young person the outside perspective and support that they deserve but may not have. Kids need an adult who's outside of the family who has different worldly experiences. Every youth has a voice waiting to be heard. Every boxer deserves to have a champion. Support your youth. Show them that, you, that the community cares. What I like about my mentor is that she has so much experience that she can help me with and she just pushes me and she's always confident and I need that extra boost that can help me achieve whatever I want. It's important to have a mentor in your life because you need somebody to guide you when you don't feel like talking to your mother, father, friends or anything. Sometimes you just need that push from the right person to get where you want to get or succeed. It's been really important from, in my experience to have a mentor because now I know what I want to do in my life. Being a mentor to Michaela and Bradley is helping them find a voice of their own in order to speak up for what they feel is right or wrong. A mentor is someone who leads by example. They also communicate hope and optimism to their mentee. Mentors provide an exceptional learning experience for their mentees and in doing so will expand their mentee's awareness, insight and perspective in life. Be a mentor! <laughs> that was a good one.
Air Stat Gymnasium. I'm Nuber Atoll, Dylan Jeremy Matos. 36 to 21, they brought the boxes up by 15. They were down 9 to 0 at one point, but have climbed all the way up to get a 15 point lead. What's seen happen here in the second half? I think what should happen is that they should keep on to the lead and maybe keep adding on to it and not let like that break kind of slow them down. They should just keep up the tempo and try to like get, make the best out of it and increase their lead. This is um you know this is a game right here that I really think the Brotham boxes could um, turn over. Turn over goes out of bounds. But I think you know this is you know one of those games that they're beating an opponent that's um you know one of the best in the state. It's a statement game I think for the Brotham boxes, knowing that the Brotham boxes they're for real. And an important thing, the Brotham boxes when they if they win today, they will clinch a playoff spot as they will get ten victories. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. And I believe also that they just trying to prove to everybody out there that they just can't. They, they, they can not only beat the easy teams, as they people say, that aren't as skilled, but they can also beat teams that are at their league. So the boxers' next team will be the 31st right here next Friday. Dirk will be here, man. Yeah, and Dirk be having. And it's actually senior night. That's their last home game of the year. And they don't have one home game in February. Yeah, I think that, I think they're, they're gonna take that one. Six to twenty-two, cross court pass. Looking to go baseline, and out of bounds. Out of bounds. Box is applying a press right now. Good. Off the glass, no Board, good. good. Off Another the glass board, again, no good. no good. I'm talking about point blank range. Oh. Here we go. Transition offense. Easy two. Watch out, because Sabres, you know, they may make a run over here. They scored. Yeah, two one into basket. Yeah, they shouldn't. They should not leave, like drop the pressure. I'm telling you, because if they do, they're just gonna end up on another turnover streak or whatever you call those things. And oh, yeah, the box is definitely don't want to let up. Oh, that, what? I don't think number eleven was waiting for that. You know, she, she had a cut earlier on her nose, as I saw her in in between the halftime. Maybe that has her a little dazed. So 38-24, boxes up by 14. There's more in the inside of Tony, gets double teamed. Over oh. the double team, puts it in. Boxes up by 16, their largest lead of the game. Another oh, steal. Oh, oh, Turnover. Saucy with the open three. Oh, air ball. Yeah, she wanted the dagger right there. Just uh, not quite uh, not quite the result she wanted. Bravo. Box will take the ball with 5.23 left in the quarter. By 16. Coming out, coming out, coming out. Oh. Pick up.
What's that about? Ball. Oh, that was kicked out. I thought it was a kick ball. Travel, but coming out, let's go. Coming out, coming out. Travel. Travel on Tatiana. Gets in the three. Sabres not going away without a fight. Oh no, they're chugging on. Here's Diaz. Cross court to Moore. In trouble. And another and travel. travel. So here we go. 23, excuse me, 27 to 14. 27 to 40. Where am I getting these numbers from? I, you know, I had a it's long a day. Goal. I, I, I had, a, had a long day at work. I had a long day at work, guys. Okay? Just, just get, bear with me here. They're up by 13. That's what I'm trying to say. It's all right. I'm, 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 I'm on the same, I'm on the same page. <laughs> Box looking to push the ball. Double team on Jackson gets a good pass to 35. Puts it in for two. Penetration and dish right there. Elia Brito puts it in for two. And a floater. Nice floater good right over Tony. Left in the third quarter, Box is up by 13. I said Box is going to play a press right now. I think Tony just got hammered by the ball here. For two. Open three. Oh no, not anymore. Another, Another travel. travel. I don't. You know what? That's that's a bogus call. That's a bunch of. That's yeah. a bunch of baloney. I think the pump fake caught him too. So. That, that's 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 horse manure. Now, Bulldogs have a chance to cut this to single oh, digits. It's turnover. Here's Diaz on the run to the basket. Oh. This is a layup. Can't miss opportunities like that. The layup boxes right now on the run. Here's more to the basket. Oh. Jump ball. Jump ball looks like it's gonna be called. Possession now is towards the no, they call it a foul. Nonetheless, the oh. box will have the ball. the layup. They're going to call a foul on the boxes. But this is a dangerous point right now. The Bronson box is up by 11 points. They could cut this down to single digits going into the fourth quarter with the momentum. The intensity is unbelievable right now. Damn. She 
puts it in, counter in the foul. So just like that, they can cut this deficit to eight points with this free throw. Timeout call by Coach April Dingwell. Good timeout. Yeah, I believe so too. What do you think she's saying right now? I think she's telling them to pick it up and I think be a little more passive on their plays because I, I just see them rushing a little bit. Rock the boxes. I mean, definitely you got two good teams here, so I didn't expect this to be a complete blowout as Davis. They, you know, they're, they're going to make a run. They're a good team. You know, they got a lot of pride. So the Rock the boxes got to be mentally tough. This is what separates good from great. You know, all star from Hall of Fame. It's the mentality to be tough when you face adversity. Right now, the Rock the Box are facing adverse situations. Got to be tough. Got to be smart. Got to be composing. This is where leadership. This is where captains come in. Say, hey guys, you know what? We got this. Let's play our offense. Let's execute the way we did in the last uh, you know, ten minutes of the of the second of the second and, and, and first quarter. And uh, let's play the way we got the lead of this game, which is hustling and take advantage of the of, the, of easy opportunities. Yeah, I believe they have to bring back what you saw in the first. No, yeah, it was the first quarter. And I, I think that that's exactly what they need right now. A little bit more offensive tempo going on there. right there oh. dodging a bullet air ball oh you're saying last touch in the boxes I'm not so yeah, sure about I, that I, 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 me, neither, me neither I don't know about that call at all I don't know about that at all oh deep three coming to rain yeah launches from the parking lot The boxes were on fire from the three point line. Their three point um, accuracy hasn't been the same as, as it was in the first half. Yeah, I, I've seen other games and I have not seen them do a little, you know, I've seen them do a little better. I know what their potential is, and right now that's exactly what they need to unlock. So I'm not really seeing it. Call a technical foul. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't see him. Who, who is that on? Yeah, I thought they called a technical foul. Yeah, I did too. I saw the tee time. Maybe they just rescinded it. So 44 34. Moore with the ball. Oh, in oh. trouble. Third quarter. Box 
just still leading by double digits. Well, obviously, I mean, Kamir is one foul. I mean, they've only committed one foul in this um, second half, so they're down to penalties. Yeah, I see the other team doing it. This is both a fan oh. team foul for Sabre. Copy, sub team. Wide open. Oh, blown coverage right there to the basket. No good. And they dodge a bullet. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. 46 to 34. Box is up by 12 going into the stretch run. The fourth quarter where legends are born. Yes, it is the championship quarter right now. I mean legends. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. Whatever. It's the fourth <laughs> quarter. <laughs> yeah. So up by 12, and when you brought the box, you need to do is just uh, contain this lead. I think defensive pressure is key right now. Because, you know, I, I see Springfield, it's been a one, and now it's, it's, uh, it's all about who wants it more. So Roth and Box are in this position, similar to this position last year, going into the lead into the fourth quarter, and then last second three um, at the buzzer wins the game. So, uh, the Boston Boxers know all too well about being up and, and, and leading all three quarters to have a slip away in the fourth quarter. So you better believe they uh, they have that in mind going to this quarter. Yeah, what happens is, is they might get a little too confident just because they see a big lead and they, they might like ease off on the defense. So as long as they you know not get overconfident and just play the game, I think that they'll be good.
Violation right there, so getting tense right now. 653 left. Box is up by 10 points. Box is put on the press right now. He's looking for somebody. Well, number four gets the screen. He's trying to go baseline. Out to the three point line. He's thought about the three, thinks better. Nice defense by Great. Diaz. Oh. oh, what a great pass. Puts it in, count it, and, and the foul. foul. They have a chance right now to cut this deficit down to seven points. Box grew up by 16 at one point. Oh no, hopefully this isn't a repeat. Possession ball game timeout called right here by Saban. They're putting on a run and the brought the box have to save them out. Yes, they do. Hopefully now they you know the coach gets some some time to snap some sense into their defense. But if they keep this going on, I'm 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 looking at another loss. I mean, you know, it's just turnovers. Box the box box control the basketball. You know, they're up by seven points. It's you know, it comes down to mental toughness. And controlling the basketball, if they do that time will tell. But Sabres, you know, they're the king. They're, they're, they're going to keep fighting. They're going to keep crawling, scratching. You know, so uh, the Bucks the Bucks have to, you know, match their intensity and, and give credit to them. You know, I, I, you know, the Bucks the Bucks is, you know, they're a good team, but Sabres is a good team too. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. And they're doing a good job. They came back into the ball game and they're, they're you know, chipping away. And, you know, they're, they're fighting to the end. And they will. By Tony. All over the boards for the Bronson Box. Huge three right there for the Box. Huge. More. Oh. Gets fouled, so he should be the charity strike for two free throws. So good, you know, mental. 
Celtics are about to bounce to Boston, you know. They're uh, down, they're up by seven. Quick three, now good possession going to the basket. Maka Pussy leads up to 11 or 12 points. Two at the free throw. Basket. And it's good. Big possession right there for Saban. About five minutes left in the game. Box is up by ten. Out to Moore. Moore launches three. three. Oh. Tony deflects it. Box gets the offensive board. Traveling violation for the umpteenth time. Dear Lord, help us all. I don't know how many trials have been called today. This has got to be a, a record. Yeah, I think so. This has got to be a good 12, I believe. Out of bounds, so Fox is break even, and they'll get the ball back. Turnovers today. That's just um, that, that's the secret championship to the game. Yeah, I believe those two. I don't even know how they're winning with all that, but and it's definitely the Boston Boston does a fantastic job shooting yeah. the perimeter. The three point, the three point game has been on today, and a lot of defensive rebounds yeah. also. I thought I think Tony's done a fantastic job in the paint. Altering so many shots. Yeah, I believe so too. At both ends. Alters another shot. Out of bounds, boxes ball. Now it's all caused by Tony. Yeah, once again, I think I think she's the she's I think she's like she's having her all star moment right now. Yeah, she's she's candidate player of the game. Definitely. She's gotta be one of the nominees. She's gotta be. She should be taking Kobe's spot. She should be. I wanna vote for that. More. Great kick and turnover. That's number 24 from Saban. To the basket. Loses the ball. Here's more. Two on two. On the run. To the basket. No good. Diaz hustling. Oh. Newbie credit right there. To the basket. And the foul. Foul before the shot though, so they'll take it out of bounds. Stand corrected. That is. That was during the shot. So, what's going on here? I was originally correct. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused. Oh, oh, there we go. No, it's official. <laughs> they said that was before the shot. No, I, I. You know what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> She's shooting free throws. Okay. Let me tell you. Let me explain what happened. First of all. Okay, they called a foul and they said on the floor. So I thought they're going to choose to shoot some free throws. And then apparently they're lining up to inbound the ball. And then they line up at the free throw line again. So give me a break here, guys. <laughs> Just give me a break because what I saw, forget it. Forget it. Don't worry about it. What happened happened it's in the past. Oh, <laughs> oh what a Tony pass. In. Another two for Tony. know you're in trouble when you say something before you even start the sentence you say first of all <laughs> 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 did you did you take that cookie first of all <laughs> <laughs> first of all that's an explanation for why first that of, first happened of all, <laughs> <laughs> why did you get a C on this test first of all Of 
for some goals, but I'm not going to go on because eventually it won't be funny no more. Even though it's funny in my head, I can go on forever. But <laughs> yeah, because that happens a lot. Get up! Let's go! So, Lock they're still in the Let's game. Go! Down by 8, Let's 55 go! to 47. Davis down by 8. Jackson, shot. let's go. Cool. What a hook shot right there. Jabbar, Jabbar. <laughs> right down the lane. Whoa, Whoa what the? Whoa. She had a wide open shot and passed it up. And not only she passed it up, she turned it over. <laughs> oh. Had a wide open lane to the basket and passed it up. So there's Diaz. Oh. Just over two minutes left in the game. Diaz with the pass. Shot. No good. Davis comes right back with a shot of their own. That took them to a the single Davis digit lead. Davis needs some stops right now. To the basket. No good. Oh. Here come the Bulldogs. Boxes on a penalty now. So any shot from here would be two free throws. And a double bonus. Nadia for Jim Takaki. for two at the free throw. The Bulldogs have regained possession. There's number 20, tightly guarded. 150 left in the game. To the basket. Foul. Off the glass. That's foul. Chipping away, chipping away. <laughs> April Dingwall gives um, the referee a piece of her mind. <laughs> She's not a happy camper right now. Yeah, especially when it's a tight game like, well, not really that tight, but when it's a close game like this. So 57 to 49. You know, I never understood the saying happy camper. <laughs> I mean, who, who just walks around the woods just smiling? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not happy if I can't. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure if there's ever a happy camper. Like, you know, camping's always so much fun. Show. I mean, I mean, it's the fun part of camping. You know, you're always trying to figure out things. You know, you use your, your, your boys or Girl Scout skills. You know, to solve, you know, knots and all that type of <laughs> stuff. And, you know, you're not really 100% happy. You're not, I don't think he's ever a, a happy camper, per se. Yeah, uh, I think it's, it's a little more afraid because of all the scary animals in there. Mosquitoes and everything. <laughs> yeah. Poison ivy, what? Yeah, yeah, matter of fact, I don't even want to camp anymore. I think we do a documentary about that. <laughs> you know, is there ever really a happy camper? Well, most of them get sent, you know, by their parents so they can get a little free time off. aggressive though because they only have 14 fouls so they can play aggressive yeah they can afford it right now
that court on Tatiana Dior. That's just careless right there. Got to know the situation. Boxing right now, this is what comes down to mental toughness. The standards is not going to quit. Now they have the chance to bring this lead down to a double dig to a double possession game. In the inside, puts it up. No good. Offensive board, no. Oni hustles for the ball. Oni, big, big defensive board right there. That's huge. That's huge. And he falls. Sabres necessarily does not need to foul, too. They're only down by two possessions. And they're calling a foul on um, the Sabres. I gotta tell you what, they must have been awful today. I mean, I'm talking about god awful on both sides. I mean, absolutely abysmal. They haven't even given people a chance to actually watch the game. Oh, it's been, it's, 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 it's oh. I can't even think of an adjective. <laughs> oh, no good. The same is still down by two possessions. They need points and they need them quickly. with the defense. Oh, that moves to the basket. They got to think about falling right now. Oh. The Diaz. Out to Moore, slowing things down. 50 on the shot clock, 30 on the game clock. And they, they and call the a foul. They had to call a foul yeah, because... Yeah, actually, that's a hard deal with a push. So right now, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one situation. So she misses this first free throw. They get the ball back with 28 seconds down by four. First free throw is good. That's huge. Up by five, 68 53. 28 seconds left in the game. Two for two. Down by six. 25 seconds left. Same is down by six. 59-53. And it's no, no good. good. Defensive deep <laughs> defensive rebound by Tony. And that may be the ball game right yep, there. I believe so too. And a foul. That's ball game right there. Six seconds left. Boxers finally defeat. Uh, save this and we'll get rid of those demons from last year. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to see. Uh, hopefully, save this is on the schedule next year. I think it's a nice little rivalry we got here. Yeah, I believe so too. Seconds. Two launches. Oh. Three. No, no good. good. And boxers come. Well, they leave here with a victory. The boxers get revenge. Uh, oh, look, our revenge was so look good. Look at Tatiana's face. 61 to 53. The Brockton boxers defeat Sabres after getting heartbroken last year during Cena night. They get revenge. Excellent, excellent game here. Um, final thoughts, Jeremy? Yeah, I, I just love the intensity of this game, except for all the, you know, all the all the free throws. That kind of took away a little fun out of it. But besides that, it was still a fun game. It was still a fun game to watch. Great game. Back to the score right there, 61-53 for Birmingham Brooks in the access. The Brooks and TV Club. We will see you at the finish line. God speed and God bless the United States of America. Amen, brother.